Arizona Senator Jeff Flake has a new book out. He's been uh, going after Republicans. Uh, the book is called uh, Conscience of a Conservative. He attacked the president and the Republican Party. Yesterday I Meet the Press, he wished the Republican Party had stood up against birtherism, but claimed that President Obama was not born in the U.S., championed by guess who? Donald Trump. I wish we as a party and, and elected officials would do more of that or when particularly ugly conspiracy theories go out or, or simply fake news, stuff that is just demonstrably right. false, we ought to stand up and say, hey, that, that's just not right. Flake also said the Republican Party is in denial about the first uh, few months of the Trump administration. The behavior in the White House as well, I mean, referring to our, our uh, colleagues across the aisle as losers mm -hmm. or clowns, is just not the direction to go if we are going to solve the problems in a conservative way uh, that we need to. So I'll stand up uh, every time to the president uh, when he's doing things that I don't think he should be doing. Except one problem, Scott. Last month, every Republican, including Jeff Flake, voted for the federal bench, uh, a blogger who, guess what, wrote about birthers. Flake. Are you a birther, well, Donald? Okay. Let, me, let me just tell you, I was a really good student at the best school. I'm not like a smart guy, okay? They make these birthers into the worst idiots. Why doesn't he show his birth certificate? Three weeks ago when I started, I thought he was probably born in this country. And now I really have a much bigger doubt than I did before. Oh, he doesn't have a birth certificate or he hasn't shown it. He has what's called a certificate of life. All right, Scott. Where do, how long do I have to answer this one? I'm sure you're only going to give me a few, uh, maybe not even. No, a I'm just saying that Jeff, Jeff Flake, <laughs> Jeff Flake is also a hypocrite by saying we should have stood up to birthers when he just voted for a guy for a lifetime appointment to the federal bench who, guess what, who wrote a blog about birthers. E exactly, exactly. Well, the hypocrisy lives in the Republican Party, although I will say this about Jeff Flake. He can give reasons for why he voted the way he did. He also voted for the skinny... No, uh, he can't. He can't do what? No, he can't. He can't do you what? You can't say we should have stood up to the birthers when you just voted for a birther to be on a federal bench. Sure he can. He's a politician and he's a Republican and he's a hypocrite. Well, I'm not going to let him get away with it. Well, you don't have to get away. Don't, don't let him get away with it. But what I will say about Jeff Flake, he's no friend of the Democrats or the progressives. But what I will say about this book, he speaks truth to power or truth to this White House where no other Republican elected official was done. I think my favorite line in the book is that, that this... Uh, uh, this Faustonian deal that the Republicans have cut because they wanted control of all three houses was spot on, that the emperor has no clothes on, but we also checked, that is the Republicans, they also checked their reasonableness at the door and tried to convince themselves that Donald Trump could deliver what he was supposed to deliver on. Uh, Got it. That's powerful. And I, Eugene? <laughs> but the thing is this. I wasn't done. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> the, the thing is this. You know, Scott, Scott has actually a very solid point here. Um, you know, a lot of Republicans check their values at the door um, in exchange for power, which is something that, you know, a lot of us have railed against over the years. Um, but, you know, Jeff Flake, you know, for a lot of the, the gripe that he's gotten from the right, um, he's absolutely correct. You know, the party should have pushed against harder against birtherism. The party should have pushed against harder against xenophobia um, and, and otherism that's happened over the last, that's taken place Got over it. the last two years. What Jeff Flake is stating is obvious. Uh, you have to remember that Jeff yeah, Flake announced for the Senate. Republicans haven't stated it. Jeff Flake announced for the Senate a month after Gabby Giffords was shot. I don't remember a big deal, and this is an Arizona member of Congress, a colleague of his. About 10 seconds. I don't remember a big deal about that. This is the same guy that didn't say anything when Jan Brewer put her finger in the president's face, the governor of Arizona. Jeff Flake has never said anything. This is a branding campaign. That's what this is. All right. <laughs> Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. No. Hell no. no. That ain't going to cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.